If you have cows and not a lot of space, so you need to wean a calf but not actually separate them from their mom, I'm gonna teach you today how you can do that by making a very simple weaning halter. I'm Kelsey from RefandTumbleFarmhouse.com where every single week I share stories from our five acre homestead here in northern Minnesota. So the whole reason why I came up with this weaning halter idea is because we have just a five acre homestead like I said and the calves stay with their moms for a very long time usually up until it gets to where they need to be dried down so around nine months ish if not longer so when I say calf it's kind of weird this time because she is it's a they're a cow once they've had a calf but this animal is going to have her own baby this year she's almost two has never been separated from her mom and so they will legitimately nurse well past a year if you let them and we had no reason to have her not nurse because Juneberry did not have a calf last year so but coming up here we need to have her 100% wean I don't think she's really nursing that much at this point if at all but Juneberry the mama does have one quarter that's still the other ones are all just kind of flat and floppy but one quarter still looks like it has a little shape to it so I just really want to make sure we get her dried down in plenty of time before her new calf arrives so it's really important that you are drying down your cows at least three months before they are due to freshen to have their next calf. This just helps the mom not have to be putting so much energy into milk production. It lets them focus on their own condition and the condition of that calf because in that last three months, that calf is putting on a lot of weight. The one that she's carrying, the calf is putting on a lot of weight and developing a lot. And so it's important that she's focusing on herself and that calf rather than making milk for a baby that's plenty old and doesn't need that milk anymore. Now, in my situation, we do calf sharing, and so we leave, if we have heifers, we typically leave them with the mom up until we need to dry them down for their next calf. So at that point, we usually have stopped milking. We milk kind of seasonally. We typically stop milking Christmas, January, sometime roughly, and so already the calf is having less milk. We aren't taking any milk, so it's really not a problem for us to put a weaning halter on the calf and just have the mom be done nursing cold turkey. I'm not really worried about mastitis or anything because her supplies already dropped down quite a bit. If you, however, are planning on drying down a cow, or you know maybe you're weaning a calf at more like six months, something like that, and the mom is in peak milk production, then you need to make sure you are taking that milk off consistently that the calf would have been consuming or that you have a kind of a plan in place for taking that milk off and then tapering her down if you're planning on her drying her down for some reason. And when it comes to when you wanna wean a calf, that really depends. I mean, technically you can take them off their mother after they've had their colostrum if you're gonna be supplementing with another type of feed. Otherwise, everything that I've seen, it seems pretty standard to fully wean at about that six month mark. Now there are some other people in the industry who will wean as soon as three months if they're doing a lot of other supplemental feeding, but I'm definitely of the belief that babies should nurse on their moms, kind of the natural amount, and it also is helpful for us because we calf share. It's very important for kind of our holistic farm life that we can leave the farm for a weekend, not right when the cow's fresh and obviously, but so we like having the calves with their moms as long as possible because that gives us the opportunity to go away for a weekend or if I'm sick or something like that and just cannot get out to milk, then it's not a big deal. Okay, but let's dive into what this halter looks like and how it is built. So uh, it's incredibly simple. So they have um, these things which attach to the halters. You'll see it, this plate looking thing. You've probably seen this before, like a fleet supply store. And the idea is, is you pull it open and pinch it into the calf's nostrils. And now maybe that works on a younger calf, but mine are always like almost a full grown cow basically by the time I'm doing this. So the idea of putting that in their nose, I just can't, I can't bring myself to do that. I think it would hurt like hell and I don't wanna do it to them. So I was trying to come up with an alternative and at first I tried making a weaning halter out of a cow halter, but I found that the nose band was up too high so that their little lips could still get under there and nurse just fine, it didn't work. So I had to get a horse halter. So this is what the rig looks like um, all told. And this is a uh, weaver leather, one inch small horse halter. And I'll see if you can see that. Uh, and I don't know if that's backwards or not. I never remember with these things, but, <laughs> but I'll post a picture and details down below in the description. But so I think this was around like a, maybe a $30 halter, something like this. I have successfully used, used this method. This will be my third time I'm doing it. So it's worked twice uh, really well. So all I did very simply was I took the nose band and I just used a hand power drill and I drilled through the nose band first. Um, and it didn't cause any like problems with the stability of the nose band at all. And then I got screws 
that are these flat backed screws. And I honestly, I don't know what, how big these things are. What does that look like? Inch and a half maybe? You'll just have to kind of see how big, because you need it to be able to go through the halter and through the plate and then have enough room to put a nut on there. So I drilled through the halter and then I pushed these bolts through and then I kind of lined them up on this nose plate and then I drilled through the nose plate and shoved it on there and then put the nuts on top. So the general idea <clears throat> is your cow or your calf wears this halter. And again, if you're weaning at like six months, this may be too big of a halter. Even still, you might need something more like a pony halter. And I have jerseys, but I found that this fit really nicely or fits really nicely on a jersey cow that's you know a yearling or thereabouts. So. Uh, so anyway, the idea is this is on their nose. It doesn't have anything that's actually hurting the calf at all um, because this also has a little bit of a gap even between this part. So that's not rubbing. The backs of the bolts are totally flat, so it's not hurting at all. But if they do go to nurse on mom, these are very uh, sharp and pokey <laughs> and they would get down there with their nose and instantly they're going to get a kick or mom's going to walk away and they're not going to be able to nurse. So um, I will show you what this looks like once it is on my cow. I'm not going to show you the process of putting it on my cow uh, out there because it is or my, my heifer technically because uh, it's very cold and my iPod will die if I try. And also this heifer, she's the one I did. I did a blog post about a while back who had a, um, it's so gross, but a maggot infestation um, and where she was uh, disbudded. And so she was a super friendly, easy to catch ca <laughs> little calf until that happened. And then after I had to treat that for a week, which is one of the grossest things I've ever experienced in my life, she is much more difficult to catch. So uh, it's just a little bit of a pain. So I can't like film and put this on at the same time, but we're gonna cut to me showing you <laughs> this on her. Okay, so real quick, funny story. Why don't you go put this on my girl? And uh, she's too pudgy. <laughs> this fit perfectly fine on the last two jerseys I've done this on. But this girl, she's granted uh, a fair amount. She's like a year older than my other ones. Um, and she's not necessarily, well, she is just a big cow. I even have my AI guy said, he's like, how old is this cow? <sighs> and it didn't fit. But the concept, you got the concept. It works. I just made to get a bigger halter. So if you have definitely an older heifer who's like pushing that two year mark, like this girl is, then you're probably gonna need maybe the mid-size horse halter versus a small horse halter, because her big, that's what she gets for, oh, hi Chevy. <laughs> for, for all that extra milk she has, girl just has a lot of rolls and jowls. Um, hey girl. So, uh, I can't show you the actual halter on a cow, but you know how to make one, and I promise you it works. At least it's worked for me. So, I do plan on going and just getting a bigger halter, and all I have to do basically is drill some new holes in a slightly larger halter and I'll be good to go. So rough and tumble, that's all I can say is rough and tumble. If you have any questions about how to make a halter like this, which again, it's super simple, just let me know in the comments, I'm happy to help. Otherwise, just make sure you've got the right size halter <laughs> for your cow and uh, yeah, you should be good to go. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure you tune in next week for more farming, family food, and fortitude here at our Rough and Tumble Farmhouse.